The original Brighton Boys, long before my crew, ladies and gentlemen, Billy Martin and uh, Skip Kluka. Don't Billy. That's okay. You're allowed to be mentioned, Billy. Billy's shooting this video on the Samsung AT&T smartphone, but not as smart as this man when it comes to college football. And Roll Tide just was listening to a voice message that uh, Nick Saban, his former roommate at Kent State, left him. So it's rather appropriate we get a nice slice of life, a good slice of uh, the great D&G pizza, which we all grew up on and is still a part of our DNA. I want to talk about this college football game. And, of course, we're going to begin with your buddy. All right? Here we go. This is from the home office. A lot of homework earlier today. Fairmont, West Virginia, which I didn't realize, alma mater, Kent State, defensive back. But as a college football coach, five national championships, and of course the SEC coach of the year four times, and Mercedes-Benz Stadium is where he will be with his tie, the 2017-18 edition at 8 o'clock ESPN. This is going to be just the second time since the uh, Bowl Championship Series was created in 1998 that the two teams from the same conference face off for the national championship, the first time between Alabama and LSU, in 2011. Now the Tide and the Georgia Bulldogs, their opponent, have met just three times since 08. All Bama wins. Clemson, of course, that big win in the Sugar Bowl. Let's begin there. Jalen Hurt, and kid can run, we all know, but man, he can throw a football too. He threw two touchdown passes in that game. How important is he in Luke Nick Saban's offense? Well, uh, quite honestly, yeah, the, the kid worries me a little bit. He's, uh, I don't think he's a quarterback. I think he's a great athlete. I think plays in the pros, he'll be a runner, or he'll be a defensive back or a receiver. Uh, he uh, he, made, he played a really good game. That's about as good as he can play, really, the other night. I thought he played as well as he could possibly play. So I, I think that, uh, you know, I, I honestly think that they're going to beat Georgia. I just think it's going to be a game that Nick, it's the kind of game that Nick likes because it's going to be played by the offensive and defensive line. And that's where that's where he likes to win the game. Now this Jalen Hurt, though, I mean, this is for an ex quarterback. I mean, this is a pretty big statistic. He's now gone six games since his lone interception of the year. Now Georgia, on the other hand, that shootout win against Oklahoma, and Heisman Trophy winner, and a walk-on who I still think somehow will find a way to play on Sundays, even though a lot of folks don't think he has what it takes to be a franchise quarterback in the National Football League. Double overtime win against, of course, the Oklahoma game. That was an instant classic. Georgia running tandem, Sony Michelle and Nick Chum tore up the Sooners for 326 yards and five touchdowns. And here's the best part of all, Georgia. They got a freshman quarterback, a freshman quarterback, Jake Frome, who threw two touchdowns and no interceptions in the third consecutive game. But Bama's defense going into this game ranked number one. But you've got to give that quarterback a little bit of love. Oh, the quarterback for Georgia? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's going to be a really good one. He's, he's going to be a great quarterback. And uh, he scares me. That, he probably scares me more than the two running backs. Because I think Nick will fill the gaps and stop those running backs. I don't think they'll get the kind of yards they got to get something home. I really don't. I just think that, uh, that the, the quarterback's the one to worry about. If they open up that offense a little bit, that could hurt them. The legend of Beaver County. Skip Kluka. We got lots more here at d and Pizza. All right, tail of the tape. Bama, Jalen Hurt from Channelville, Texas, 6'2", 218 pounds, 2,060 yards passing, 17 touchdowns. Damian Harris, 5'11", 221 pounds from Bria, Kentucky, 983 yards rushing, 11 touchdowns. Calvin Ridley, 6'1", 190 pounds from Coconut Creek, Florida, 935 receiving yards and 4 touchdowns. Mac Wilson, linebacker, 6'2", 236 pounds, Montgomery, Alabama, 4 interceptions. Georgia, Coach Kirby Smart, 42, former defensive coordinator at Alabama. Alma mater, of course, played a little football on his own. Of course, uh, for Georgia, he was a uh, defensive back, SEC coach of the year this year. And, of course, Jake Frome, we just talked about, quarterback 6'2", 224 pounds from Warner Robins, Georgia. And 2,383 yards passing, 23 touchdowns. Nick Chubb, 5'10", 224 pounds from Cedartown, Georgia, 1,320 yards rushing, 15 touchdowns. And Javon Wim, 6'4", big target. Big receiver, 215 pounds from Miami, Florida, 704 receiving yards, seven touchdowns, and one more guy likes to hit, and he can stop the run and drop back and do a great job breaking up a pass or even getting in front of the receiver to come up with a big interception. He is their safety, Dominic Sanders, six foot, 200 pounds with four interceptions. So that's everything that you folks need to know. Now talk about this game and why you think your buddy's going to tie Bear Bryant. Well, if you look at his record against teams that uh, – that have won the championships or coaches that coached for him before. He's beaten almost every one of them every time. I think there's only one time that he hadn't beaten 
know, one of the guys that, that coached for him. So he always seems to do well against his, his former uh, coaches. I, I think that uh, uh, the uh, running back, uh, Damian Harris, is, is key to this game. I think that if he, if he runs away he ran in the last game, they'll be fine. He's got to get first down. That's uh, the thing with them is uh, the quarterback, he looks for Ridley. If Ridley is an open, he runs the football. Now, if he can run, the, if he ends up leading the team in rushing in the game, they, they, either him or Damian Harris, if they lead the team rushing the game, they both rush for over 100 yards. No doubt in their mind, the Alabama's going to win this game. All right, Lori, thank you so much for inviting us. And don't forget, when you pick up your pizza for the big game, whether it is little NFL this weekend or when they get back at it next weekend, of course, Ed Shewak, Shewak Distributing right here. Also, it's a great brew and the best pizza anywhere on the planet. Championship Monday. Come and buy it by the slicer. Better yet, take a tray home to the family. They will appreciate it. Good night, everybody, from D&G Pizza in Manaka.